Hey there. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about running scripts in Townstar. Okay. And if you go to um, the Townstar rules, you can see that it says, can I use script, a script to play? And the answer is yes, but Townstar records every action that is made. If anything that you or your script does that's outside of the rules of the game, you will be banned. Okay. And I know that we've talked about how they um, take a couple of weeks before you actually get your payout from winning, uh, being in the top 100 players on the weekly competition. That is the reason why. They go through every uh, move that you make and they analyze it and say, is this a legal thing to do in the game? And if the answer is yes, then you get your money. And if it's no, then you won't be getting any money. Okay, so anyway, the I found this script right here. Uh, that is by Gala Analytics, and it it's basically they've got um, Townstar Auto Sale version one and a version two, and the uh, Townstar version two does one thing that is good is it does multiple trade vehicles because in the past what I would have to do if I'm selling more than or, or selling using a freight pier instead of a trade pier, I would actually have to go into the script and actually type in the change. So um, I haven't used this one yet, but I, I believe that it will take care of that problem for us. And so you can look at, here are uh, the several scripts, the version one, the version two. There is a leaderboard script that lets you... Uh, be able to click on the person that you want to see and it'll take you right to where their town is. So then if you want to eavesdrop and kind of look and see, you know, what is it that this person is selling? Why are they beating me? You know, and uh, figure that out. Then you can. Um, so there's uh, also... Uh, they have a script to track items to see, I guess, what your production rate is. I do that manually myself and probably always will because I, I don't necessarily trust scripts. But if you don't have a lot of time, that might be the, the fastest way. Or if you're not like anal mathematically inclined, then maybe you would want to do that. So, okay. Um, so you see where to get the script. More, we are going to look at that script. Okay, the version two, that's the one I am interested in. So what I want to do is just click over here anywhere and do control A on a Windows PC. And then that will highlight everything. And then I can do a control C, which will copy everything. And then um, there's also Tamper Monkey, okay? Go to tampermonkey.net. I'll put these um, links in the description. Uh, and you can see if you're using Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Safari, Firefox, Opera, Dolphin, and UC. So I don't know what some of these are. I use Chrome. It's just easier for me. Um, and then you can install Tamper Monkey, okay? That is a very important thing. And once you install it, you get a little thing up here. And it says Tamper Monkey, okay? And if you saw my other uh, videos, you've probably seen the Met, uh, MetaMask for your collecting your um, rewards and and making it to your bank, so to speak. Okay, so you get Tamper Monkey, 
and load it into your browser. You've got your script and you got it highlighted. So then what do you do? You go to the game and you click up here on this. And then you click on Tamper Monkey and you want to create a new script. And it's already got some stuff filled in, but we copy and pasted all that from our, or we copied, and now we're going to paste. Do a control V to paste over that. And now it has put that auto sell script in here for us. Notice we've got some uh, warnings. I, I'm not going to worry about those because whoever does this i think this is written in javascript they know what they're doing and i don't so i'm not going to worry about it unless the script doesn't work now whatever you want to call this and if you want to say uh if you want to leave it that way townstar auto sell script then that that's fine or you could say uh, uh my first auto script auto sell uh, or whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, so you can just leave it the way it is and it'll work fine. And then you, it shows you, you know, Tamper Monkey uh, is running it. And then uh, this right here you need to leave in there so that it can, uh, the commands that it sends, it can find it, okay? And so this is, this is it. The author is Groove. I don't know who that is, but uh, we're going to trust him. Then you want to click on File and Save. Okay. So now we've got, I already had a script and I'm just doing this one. So we've got this script and it's defaulting to Enabled. So then I'm going to stop that. You can click up here. Click on Tamper Monkey, and you can see that, that it's enabled. If you wanted, for some reason, to disable it, you just click right here, and that disables. And then this enables it. So, And there are times when you don't want to be selling something and you want to uh, change it. But if we go into the script to edit it, you click on this right arrow and edit, okay? So in the script, we there are certain things that we want to be able to edit as we need to. And this one is set up. Um, the item is whatever the whatever it shows in the game, like Pinot Noir grapes. Well, there's a space in the game between the words, and they use an underscore to replace the spaces, okay? Keep amount is zero. If I was running a winery and I wanted to say always have five or ten grapes there, then I would say for my keep amount, I would put that whatever that number was in there. Okay. And that way I'll sell my excess, but I won't sell the ones that I know that I'm going to need. And um, that could be true of anything that you want to sell. And if you want to uh, copy this uh, and you do a control C here and then go to the end of the line, hit enter and control V. That gives you another line and say I wanted to put, uh, I wanted to sell cake. You, you need to the case as it is so it's uppercase c a k e now i will be able to sell cakes and and i won't uh i i will sell them as soon as i have 10 there is no minimum and there is no uh amount that i want to keep if i wanted to keep five i would put a five there now as far as, and then if i put a five there it would sell them every time i reached 15, it would sell 10, okay? And then if you notice with this, sell minimum is 100. That means it's going to use your freight pier 
as opposed to a trade pair. Now, you know that the trade pair sells 10 at a time. The freight pair sells 100 at a time. So anything that you want to uh, keep from selling on your trade pair, but you want to sell it on your freight pier, um, then you're going to put a sell minimum of 100 so that it won't um, sell them every time you get 10, okay? So, uh, and it and it says keep amount is zero. So that means every time you get to 100, it's going to sell it. Now, as far as any of this other stuff, this part right here about Jimmy is the... Um, the neighbor delivery um, and so if you don't want the neighbor delivery to work then you can either remove this code or possibly comment it out and I don't know how to comment it out uh, but it looks like a slash slash would be uh, a comment line yeah slash slash is going to comment it out so you can put a slash slash in, but if you notice this let airdrop that actually goes with this part of the script and that has to do with airdrops um, for gasoline that people who have like I think over a million gala on their account which you know for me to get to a million that's a long way off so I could comment that out and it all this part and it wouldn't it wouldn't matter. Uh, just remember if you do any modifications to the script and the script stops working, you can always just delete it and recopy it from the original source. Okay. So um, this play now uh, business, I think keeps you from um, when you first log into the game if you're not running a script it'll ask you what server do you want da 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 when you are running your script it will try to log you into the to the uh, server that you were running when you started the script Therefore, if you have trouble changing servers and you're not sure why, you need to just go to the uh, game and um, and change and turn off the script. Um, so that would just be a matter of coming here, clicking on Tamper Monkey, and do that. That turns it off. That turns it on. Now, um, let me see. I, oops, wait a minute, what am I doing? I'm trying to close this. Um, yeah, I, did I save my, let me make sure. Okay, so I want to make sure that I saved. It's got Pinot Nord grapes, okay? So let's save it and close it. And then, uh, Sorry about this being such a, uh, it's kind of unplanned uh, thing. I'm going to need some grapes to sell. But one thing that you need to remember, I need to um, let you know about, is you need to either do this to reload the page after you've, made changes to your script and saved it. You, you need to do that to reload it. And I'm not, oh, I am running a script. So I'm not sure um, why that did, didn't automatically go in. But, um, and that may be the way my old script worked and not this new one. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to log in. So I'm going to pause real quick and log in. All right, I'm back. Now, if you notice that my little 
Roly Poly Little Farmer is bringing up our 10th grade. So you're going to see what happens. Hopefully it will happen um, when we have the right amount of things to sell. Okay. It's automatically loading up my truck and shipping it off the market. So uh, that's pretty cool. And that will help you if you want to um, be able to leave this running overnight. Of course, there's a lot more to it than just selling. Uh, and there are other scripts out there that like um, allow you to do many other things, but you have to pay for those. And what I'm trying to do on my channel is show everybody the free stuff. Okay, so if there's something that somebody wants me to make a video about, uh, please comment below and let me know. But this is how you do uh, the scripts. And you notice right here, it tells me that my auto sell is active. Okay, so that that's a great thing. And that that's really all there is to uh, running scripts and Townstar. I hope this was helpful and informative. If it was, like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.